I've been the Duke of Delete and the Bastard of Backspace for as long as I've had pen to paper, correcting the cryptic admissions through a cynical lens of consciousness to ensure that the intent doesn't betray itself somewhere in here with the dotted eyes and scrambling equilibriums. And everything there is a beginning, and that beginning calls for an end to everything that we start, that we construct about ourselves, keeping the castle guarded, lighting the torches of our past, a badge to wear under the heart on the sleeves. The doilies of deeds better left unspoken, unspoiled by the ego's clutch on our memories. On every page I filled, there's fantasies fighting with the freedom of information, sentences duking it out with the determination to keep the inner workings of the mind under wraps and swimming with the ice at the bottom of another bourbon, some unspoken pact with my unconscious, to allow only so much view into the dreams and curses that I mutter in the moonlit hours of my life, knowing full well that the knowledge of the withheld would be better served by itself on a platter with all the poetic trimmings and training. As time has dragged me along, it's pointed out the obvious. The oblivious nature of my own creative dwellings must be made available to those that wish to be unindated by the undulating fabric of my fallacies, the flinching of flesh as the pen tears its path through my psyche. This is just another love letter to the long-dead legions of lessons and teachers that taught themselves out of a job, out of a window to look through, in on their aging pupils' perceptional passions make the mark of a passing grade for their own abilities. In everyone's life there comes a time to say everything they've never said. This is mine. Welcome to Backspace.